What a journey we all have traveled since 2000, when the city determined a park would be constructed and the land transferred from Desi to the city. And in 2001, the first public meeting was held to gain insight from the neighbors on what type of amenities they wanted in the new park. And today, although a few years, okay, maybe a couple decades later, we are finally officially opening this one-of-a-kind, incredible nature park. My name is Mary Beth O'Dell, and I am the honored director of the Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Arts Department. Today is a celebration, oh thank you. Today is a celebration of teamwork and community spirit for our park spaces that created the support that was needed for the completion of Gentilly Park. We do have many people to thank in the next 15 minutes. Uh, especially for patience, enthusiasm, and the persistence with Gentilly Park. And we all know that any city project we undertake requires support from our elected officials and city managers. I want to thank their efforts to keeping the vision of P Gentilly Park alive over all these years. This park will continue to contribute to the community identity foster a sense of pride to our residents, and differentiate Kettering as a city that celebrates and encourages everyone to spend outside to embrace a healthy lifestyle. Now it's my pleasure to introduce one of PRCA's most avid supporters, Mayor Peggy Lehner. Thanks, Mary Beth. Uh, it, is, it is really hard to believe we're finally here. I was just thinking as, as she was talking that when I was first elected to city council in the last century, <laughs> we were talking about this park. Now, Mary Beth came along right at the turn of the century, but he put it in terms of centuries. <laughs> this is really old. That is crazy to see that. I know. I know, it's downright crazy. It makes me feel really, really old, but it's true. It was. Um, on behalf of my fellow council members and city staff, we are delighted to share in this historic occasion with you the official opening and ribbon-cutting celebration for Gentilly Nature Park. I would like to introduce the council members present today, as well as our city manager, Matt Greeson. Where's Matt? There he's right there, okay. Um, I know we have Bob Scott and Jackie Fisher there, and Lisa Duval. And I don't believe there's I know a couple other people are out of town. Got everyone? Okay, great. Thank you for all being here to mark this special day. Gentilly Nature Park will be Kettering's 22nd park. Kettering is unique in having a close proximity to neighborhood parks, and this new addition will further enhance our community. This new neighborhood park will be a place where new memories are made for our current and future residents. A heartfelt thank goes out to the Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Arts Department, along with everyone involved in making this dream a reality. Your hard work and dedication have brought us to this moment. At this point, it is my pleasure to introduce Ohio House Representative Andrea White. Right. Andrea? 
Well, thank you, Mayor. Um, it is truly a pleasure for me to be here today. When I was the clerk of court previous to being a state representative, you know, right back over there is Kettering Court. I remember the vision hearing about this, as everyone has said a couple decades ago. This has been a beautiful um, driving commitment for us to be able to create this. And I want to thank every single person who had a role in this. One of the wonderful things about this park is, you know, the, the man that it is named after, the World War II flying ace, um, Dominic Gentile. You think about him and the commitment and the drive and the focus he needed. And these are the kinds of things that resulted in this park today. All of the people who worked, who gave input, you think about the community members who had lots of ideas and there was lots of meetings and lots of going back to the drawing board. But when you look at what we have today, this absolutely beautiful park that is going to be a center for this neighborhood and for people from the surrounding areas to come and gather and build relationship and connection. And I am excited because I have a connection to the gentleman, um, Ryan Young, who was instrumental in designing and creating this, who grew up in Kettering, lived across the street from my children when we were growing up together. And it's a beautiful product of so many, the companies that worked there to put it together, many, um, you know, all the workers who created it. I just want to thank you all on behalf of the Ohio House of Representatives. We present this commendation to the city and to all of those who've served on the boards and served in the meetings and gave their input. What a wonderful day today. Thank you. Thanks, Andrea. Andrea's husband was on the uh, city council back there in that last century as well. So I have, co I have company in there. And um, certainly there is no one who can take more credit. He can take a lot more credit than I can. Um, for this park being here today, and that is our former mayor, Don Patterson. Don, would you like to come forward and say a few words? I didn't feel old before I came here and realized, <laughs> and it was put out in front that I was elected in the last century. <laughs> this was a tough park to get going. Um, You've heard from everybody the designs we went through, the problems we went through, the issues we addressed. We wanted to create a park that would be great for the neighborhood, but also great for the residents of Kettering, who can come out here, do a walking trail, see the nature thing. I don't know how many other cities have zip lines in their parks and everything, but this park is unique, and it took a lot of effort from a lot of people. There was nobody that, that, that gets credit for this because this was what we called a team effort. It took us a long time. We worked with, with great people. We had great residents and input from them. We worked with, with the, the, the city on what needed to be. And I think and I hope that the residents will enjoy this park. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I hope that while it took a long time, that it was worth the wait and we did a good job, and thank you. I almost left it out, but we had a proclamation um, from the city as well. Um, I'd say put it on the walls, but there is no wall, so we'll just have to keep it at the city, but um, just, uh, just very briefly, great cities are defined by great parks. We wish our residents and visitors many years of enjoyment in this beautiful new space. Thank you. It is, it is. Now that I started in the last century, that was great. I will remember that for my career ending thoughts. Gentilly Nature Park certainly does have a long storied story to tell, building up to this day, and you heard some of it already. However, another great story to tell is celebrating one of the, one of the champions of the design of this park, Ryan Young. Ryan was the, yeah, give a good shout out to Ryan. Ryan was the landscape architect for this final design of this park. What you really need to know 
is Ryan was born and raised in Kettering and is a Fairmont graduate. After college, Ryan was hired by Pod Design in Columbus and because of his roots with Kettering, assigned to design the park in collaboration with our city team. Now I'd like to introduce Ryan Young. Mary Beth is being way too kind. There's a, a much larger team behind me that was a part of this park and made it a reality. Um, but I want to first thank the City Kettering and Ohio Site Solutions. Uh, constructing a park of this magnitude and this nature is no easy task, and I think we can all um, agree they did a great job. I'd also like to thank Mary Beth, uh, Mr. Greeson, and City Council. Um, like everybody has mentioned, in, in every single meeting we are part of, we kind of joked about this park um, kind of spanning an entire career, and, and to some degree it actually has. Um, but the continued support and the leadership of, of Mary Beth, uh, Mr. Greeson, and City Council uh, is what brings us here today. I'd also like to thank you guys, the community, for being patient with us, um, um, <clears throat> for your support, and for being a, a, a huge part of the public input process. This is, overall, this is your guys' park, and we hope you're, you'll be able to enjoy it for years to come. And lastly, as somebody who was born and raised in Kettering, I'd like to thank Mary Beth for her years of dedicated service to the city. It's no accident that Kettering has one of the, one of the most fantastic park systems in the entire country, and we all owe you a sincere thank you for your years of dedicated service and for influencing our community. And growing up, like all young boys, um, I dreamed about being a landscape architect. Um, not really. Um, that's not a dream for anybody. Uh, my dream was to be an NBA player. Uh, I'm still waiting for that growth spurt to happen, so I got a couple more years. Um, however, after that crushing realization, um, I did become interested in the design profession. It was my time spent playing soccer at Delco Park, sledding at Indian Riffle, and playing with my friends at Oak Creek Park that really made me aware of the value of public spaces and the influence they have in their community. My time is at Fairmont where is where I was afforded the opportunity to explore that career path in more detail and ultimately what led me here to this podium today. When I joined POD, uh, the project was already ramping up I believe for the second or third time. Um, uh, but when I heard about the opportunity, I jumped at it. Um, there are many people at Pod Design who, make part this, who made this project a reality. I'm just a very small part of that team. But for me personally, um, it, was, it has been such an honor to be involved as, in this project. Being able to interact with the community, to learn about the site's history, and ultimately being able to create a space that future generations will be able to play and enjoy has been one of the greatest honors and privileges of my life. With that being said, I hope you all enjoy the park. We hope you play, we hope you laugh, make friends, you learn, but most of all, we hope you make this park your own. Despite what you might think, um, I may not be tall enough to play in the NBA, but I am tall enough to ride all the equipment, so you can find me on the zip line. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan, so much for all your dedication, and thank you for your contributions back to your hometown. That was awesome. I know Steve Kowitz, you're out there somewhere. Steve Kowitz, I don't know where he is. There he is back there. Steve is the, the owner of Pod Design, and I met Steve back in uh, 2010, and we did. I'm not kidding. I know this is getting old about the, how long it's taken this park, but I was, at one time, I talked to Steve. I go, you know what? Your kids are going to be graduated from college by the time this park is done. And indeed, they are. So uh, what a visionary I am, right, Steve? Wow. But thank you so much. Uh, actually, Pod did a great job. And your, this design, uh, like Ryan said, is really second to none. It's just amazing. There's probably no other park in this county, in this region, and as I always say, the world better than this park here. And that goes back several of uh, um, dedications ago. The Kettering Park Foundation, established in 1983, is to support philanthropic funding of parks, recreation, and cultural arts projects over the decades. When we were talking, when the foundation was talking about this park, they decided to create a vision that would span decades. So they have do donated 100 tree saplings to create a celebration grove. 
So if you haven't been to our sapling uh, table, it's right across the park, you too can place one of these saplings and generations from now, your tree will be a forest. When you plant a tree, you plant hope. I would like now to introduce Neil Smalley, president of the Kettering Park Foundation. Thank you, Mary Beth. The Kettering Parks Foundation has provided the means for our residents and citizens uh, to donate and uh, plant trees in honor or in memory of a friend or a loved one. I would hesitate to guess how many trees have been planted under this program, but, but I know the number is significant. It necessarily follows that the Kettering Parks Foundation should fund the dedication tree grove here in Gentilly Park, which we are pleased and proud to do. How important are trees to our society? Trees play a critical role in creating healthier, safer, and more connected communities. They clean our air by absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere while releasing ox oxygen back into the air. They filter our water and provide habitat for wildlife. Numerous studies have shown that spending time around trees and just looking at trees reduces stress, lowers blood pressure, and improves mood. Obviously, trees cool down our neighborhoods by providing shade. I would like to end by reading a poem by Joyce Kelmer, which was written in 1915. I think I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree, a tree whose hungry mouth is pressed against the earth's sweet flowing breast, a tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray. A tree may in summer wear a nest of robins in her hair, upon whose bosom snow has lain, who intimately lives with rain. Poems are made like fools like me, but only God can make a tree. So true, Neil. Thank you so much for those words. As stated earlier, a project of this size requires a team to complete projects in the city. Although we have had multiple city teams work on Gentilly Park over the decades, none work with more precision, determination, and passion as a team we had in place for this iteration of the park. And if any of you all are here, please step up. Many thanks to the city engineering department, John Sleemers, Chad Engel, Mike Zink, uh, they're just raising, raising their hand. Todd Livestay, Jeremy Cox, and Lee Thaman. Your expertise ensured the success of this park. On behalf of the PRCA department, I do want you to know we absolutely appreciate your contributions and assistance with the park. We could have not done it without you. Of course, O'Hill Construction was a contractor of choice. Your company should be commended, commended, and I know Justin and Jeff Heal, are you here today? Come on up, Justin and Jeff, and then also Mark Atkins, if you'd step up here. Hello. We appreciate the attention to detail to construct this incredible park. Your company represents the best in the business, and we were elated you were the contractor of choice for this project. This park will be celebrated for decades to come, and your company truly left a mark of excellence. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Jeff Heil with the Heil Site Solutions. I also want to mention that uh, I was born and raised in the last century as well. And I was also uh, born, or born and raised in Kettering and graduated from Fairmont West High School. And then my son, Justin, uh, graduated from Fairmont High School. So we are uh, always a big part of the community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I guess it's been a Kettering project all along. None of you knew this. It was going to be a Kettering project all along. I also want to send a shout out to our Dorwood Optimist Club. I know some of you are here today. Dorwood, are you here? There we are. Thank you for your representation. 
They generously donated uh, money for our new drinking fountain that isn't quite here yet, but we have a nice uh, plaque or a, a plaque over there to notate that they will be here. Dorwood, you are one of the kind. Yeah, absolutely. And over my career here have been great avid supporters and funders of multiple projects. We appreciate you. Thank you, Dorwood. Last but not least is the PRCA team for this project. Actually, three individuals. Uh, I'd like to have step up, Aunt Brown, Gary Schussler, our park superintendent, and Tom Dews, our park inspector. If you guys could come to the podium, please. Is Aunt here? Is Aunt here? What? Aunt's here. Aunt, come on up. So really, this is who helped build a park. Give them a round of applause. I started this many years ago that this property was somewhat remnant. And it kind of was if you were out here in 2001. But now, this is remarkable. We transformed a piece of property from remnant to remarkable, just for all of you that are here today. Tom, Ant, and Gary, your professional expertise, attention to all the detail, ultimately focused on every person eventually using the park. Gary, Ann, and Tom, you are the reason for the final completion of the park. Your commitment to this project is unprecedented. And as mentioned before, your contribution to this park will leave memories, memories for generations to come. Big applause for Tom, Ann, and Gary. Well, we're not quite finished yet before the ribbon cutting. Of course, many uh, years ago, we were wondering how we could really measure the impact of this park uh, to our residents, children, adults, all. About four or five years, three years ago, the Kettering Parks Rec Cultural Arts Department and the Kettering City Schools partnered together with the PBIS program, Safe, Responsible, Respectful. Some of you that go to Kettering Schools are familiar with the words safe, responsible, respectful. We have worked with Dr. Terry Scott, Carrie Hennessy uh, from the Kettering City Schools to cascade this idea into the community. The first community actually in the country to take a school-based program into the community. Well, we didn't stop in our rec centers or our art center or our habitat. We thought then, hey, how would PBIS impact outdoor spaces so um, when Compan, Dr. Suzanne Quinn, which who I'm introducing in a minute, uh, was going to do some uh, post questionnaires after our park started, we introduced this idea of, men of, of measuring mental well-being in a park, which PBIS helps do. Dr. Quinn embraced this idea with Carrie Hennessy, and we will, uh, we will actually use these questionnaires later in uh, uh, or early in the fall. But I'm actually going to turn it over to Dr. Quinn to talk a little bit more about her pro about the project. Dr. Quinn. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I, I wasn't prepared to say words today, she but heard. but that's fine. Anyway, I want to thank my colleagues at Park Vision, Bruce and Eric, um, for um, being a part of selecting and designing, and of course Ryan as well. Um, pieces of equipment that will help people be active and inspire you to be in nature. So at Compan, we're also interested in how this is going to be used and how this affects your health. Um, said earlier, uh, we know that trees are important and being in nature is important. We know physical activity is important. Benchmark at least one hour a day. So if you're going to think to yourself, how often should I be out here? How often should I be playing? It should be at least an hour a day. Thinking about being safe and responsible and respectful to each other and taking that uh, in for your overall health. And so thank you for having me here today to see what it's like in the beginning. And I'll see you again in a few months when we start the study. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Thank you, Dr. Quinn, and thank you, Carrie Hennessy, with the schools for partnering with us on the project. And you will notice we do have safe, responsible, respectful matrix around the park. So all of you who are in Kettering schools, you know, and parents, you know what that 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 resembles. As we know, our city parks are part of the Kettering identity, contributing to the healthy lifestyle we encourage for all of our residents to pursue every day. And Dr. Quinn talked about that. Actually, parks allow us to transcend our age. If we just allow ourselves the time to play and open up the child in all of us, it brings joy to our heart and it ignites the better vision of you. So with that, I'd like to say that this is my last day in Kettering, I'm retiring, and my last day in my career after 46 years. And I can't imagine anyone having the great honor, A, of working in this community, and B, working for a most, the most amazing and nationally renowned Park, Rec, and Cultural Arts Department in the country. And thank you, more importantly, from my heart, working with all you because I'm here for you. And with that, let's get this park open. One, two, cut the ribbon! <laughs>